WIFO-FM Jessup, Big Dog Country Radio, 105.5 FM. It is now time for the world-famous Butch and Bob Show here on WIFO, brought to you by First Southern Bank, Murphy Builder Supply, Vans Barbecue, and O'Quinn Associates. Hi, I'm Andy Yeomans. And I'm Raymond Brown with First Southern Bank. As your locally owned community bank, we're here to help our community grow. Our customers are why we are here. You can tell we want your business. We offer all types of deposit products, personal and business. We have fast, efficient service, and yes, we have online banking too. I'm sure we have an account to fit your needs. Stop by or call us at 912-588-1010 and see how First Southern Bank can help you. For FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. When it comes to barbecue, Vans Barbecue and Jessup is the place to be. A small family-owned business located at 1876 on the Savannah Highway. Vans Barbecue has lunch and dinner specials. Stop by or call to make an order. The number to call, 427-3358. Vans Barbecue's new manager is Sarah Van. Vans Barbecue offers potato salad, coleslaw, baked beans, and don't forget their delicious mac and cheese. Also, check out their shrimp plates, the best in town. Yes, when it comes to the barbecue, head to Vans Barbecue, locally owned and operated. Stop by and tell them the big dog sent you. Once again, the number to order, 427-3358. Are you looking for an insurance company that you can call and talk to a live person? Are you looking for an insurance company where you can walk in and talk to an agent? Are you looking for an insurance company that offers multiple companies so they can try and get you the best rate? If you said yes to any of these, then you need to call or come by. Oakwin and Associates Insurance Financial Services. We offer multiple companies so we can find the best fit for you. Give us a call at 385-1000 or stop by our office at 212 South Fair Street right here in Jessup. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. World famous Butch and Bob Show. World famous Butch and Bob Show right here on WIFO 105.5 FM and Jess of Big Dog Country Radio. Good morning, Bob. How's it going? Good. Going good? Good. All right. You all Wayne county out this morning, man. Got a Wayne County High School shirt on, cap. You ready for Friday week, aren't you? Getting ready for this season. Should be fun. Should be a good one. Well, Bob, we got guests in this morning. Who do we have in here this morning? Got the Moxley's in, and George is in to talk about the big event Friday night at the high school auditorium. It's going to be a big show. George, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, if I was any better, I'd be Butcher Bob. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you all for letting us come back on here. So. So tell us, you know, you've got this big event coming up on Friday night. You were here a few days ago to talk about it. We've been giving away tickets. Uh, it's a big event for Jessup Wayne County and here in Southeast Georgia. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be really really big. Jason Crab is Grammy Award winner, Dove Award winner. He is the uh, he is the gospel music what Elvis would be, I guess. <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> what Elvis is. the rock and roll? Jason Crab <laughs> is to gospel music. Huh? Yeah, Jason's a phenomenal man. He's a, a very influential man. He's got a full band coming mm-hmm. in. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be. It's going to be great. We started doing this through our ministry. You know, uh, those through Moxley's ministry. Yeah, mm-hmm. those of you that know us, we we used to pastor at Unity, and and when we left there, we started a nationwide ministry, and we go to thirty one different states, and and I've learned that a lot of times, especially after COVID. That the church kind of got scattered, so we we have these events. I'll go rent a facility in a city and and have a, a night of worship or have a soul winning crusade, and it's been really really good. And I just really felt like that. Hey, Jessup, we a prime place for us to do that. Just pull everybody together and just have a have a good night. It's a good a good event. It's going to be a great a great time. So uh, we do the, the tickets are selling good. The tickets will be available at the door too. Uh, when the, a lot of folks have called and said, are they the same price at the door as they are uh, before you? Uh, before the before the event, and I, I didn't learn that I should have made them higher at the door. That way. <laughs> but they're the same. Live and learn, there, George. Yeah. But they're the same, and so you could uh, you can still come. Uh, we we uh, the 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 
the building, the, the building there at the high school is at 1,125 people, and so, so we've got about 500 tickets sold. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's going to be a big event. It's going to be really good. Matter of fact, we 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 started. Uh, we we let 12 and under come free naturally because we want young people to get to get involved and get exposed. But we've uh, also put a student. Uh, we've been asked a lot about the students at the high school. Uh, a student reduction is ten dollars for students to uh, to come from the high school. They can go online and get the student discount, or they can get them uh, get them from all the places in town. Debbie, will you want to share the places in town where the tickets are available? <laughs> all right, Debbie Moxley, go ahead, Debbie. They're available at Mine and Yours Boutique, David's Clothing, Amazing Grace Christian Bookstore, and Sheffield's. And naturally, they can call us at our cell numbers at. Uh, 912-256-1362 is mine, and 294-3991 is Debbie's. Or they can go on the website. Tell them how to do that, too. MoxleyMinistries.com or JasonCrab.com. It, it's going to be it's going to be the, the last last time we done this. It just we done it in Logan, West Virginia, a couple of months ago, and it just really it just really just put a, a surge of energy in that uh, in that area. It's just a really good event. Uh, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. It is amazing, and we hope everyone uh, that can will make an attempt to make an attempt to come. So, so you were there in Logan, West Virginia. Logan, huh? West Virginia. We we do. I'm leaving uh, Saturday after the, this event uh, to head to Ravenston, um, West Virginia. It's right outside of Charleston. I'll be there three days, and then I'll be in Catlinsburg one night, and then I'll uh, Catlinsburg, Kentucky, one night, and then I'll be uh, uh, and near Wortland. Wortland, Kentucky, for four nights. I'll be going nine nights. You're so, out in the Appalachian area up there. All over the. Um, yeah. all, we go all over the place, from all Arizona place. to Maine. The next week I'll be in Maine, and so we uh we we've been what 32 states that we uh that we go in pretty regular, and we we've got offices now in da- in uh, downtown Jessup, and and so we're starting to Zoom and train train pastors on uh on Zoom from different states also. So okay. it's been a it's been a real what God done at Unity was a good was a good thing that we we uh. Uh, our denomination won't spread all over the all over the country so that's what we uh that's what we do so it's been a really really good journey for the last it's been eight years since we sat here and you interviewed us about leaving <laughs> that is amazing <laughs> it's been time eight years. flies by I, i'm not kidding I, I, it's just amazing I, I look a lot older debbie still looks the same somebody asked me the other day why does she look so young and i look so old i said i take better care of her she does of me i reckon <laughs> <laughs> but it is going to be a it is going to be a big event. It's a good event for Wayne County. We want all people to come naturally. Jason, Jason reaches across all, all, all barriers. Young people love him just like. I mean, we have him at our uh, big events called Winterfest that we have with twenty-something thousand uh, teenagers come, and so we. Uh, and he'll be. He reaches young people as well as that that sixty-one year old preacher like me. I mean, it's just really, really, really good. And I hope everyone will come. I want to thank all our sponsors. I can't even name them all. There's got about twenty sponsors. Uh, the businesses here in Jessup has just been uh, phenomenal. We'll have a we'll have a, a a big screen showing all the sponsors there at the uh, at the event. Uh, I want to thank you all for letting us come here on Butch and Bob Show and share about it, and the for com- the commercials that we've uh, been able to partner with y'all with. It's just been it's just been a good a good feeling. Everybody's excited. It's going to be a it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Uh, Jason Crabb will be there, of course, with his band, and we all know how well he sings. Is there anything else that he'll be doing? Does he minister any type no, of way, it's or be just, all, just it's all be, singing? It's going to be all music. Somebody called okay. the other day and said, "Are you preaching?" I said, "Nope, nope. This is all. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll. Uh, it'll be. Uh, we've got a." a uh, a guy from Mississippi. He's an upcoming artist. Uh, he's going to sing two songs to open it up with, just to open for Jason Crabb. His name's Matt Hill from Mississippi, Pleasant Hill, Mississippi. He's he's coming down. A good friend of mine. And uh, but other than that, it's just it's just Jason Crabb. Let's go at it and go. And so, uh, but it's really it's really good. I mean, you'll feel the presence of the Lord, and and the church really really needs to bind together. We we uh, we we've got it in a. In a way, you know, our ministry's not not a we don't have a church anymore, and so it's any church can feel uh, can feel welcome. It's not one church doing it, it's not one denomination doing it. And it's Moxley Ministries coming in and just making this happen for the for the community. And so I hope that uh, it breaks all barriers, racial, denominational, uh, social, age wise. It breaks all barriers. Just come for a night of worship. It is going to be. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be okay. Amazing. This Friday night, seven o'clock, the at door, Wayne County High School Auditorium. The doors will open at six, and uh, the the concert will start at seven. Right, 
right dead on the on the spot. Jason will be up there about fifteen after seven. So we'll we'll take about fifteen minutes with preliminaries. We've got we've got good great security going to be there. Everything's safe. There's handicap seating. I'm, I'm trying to answer all the questions that I'm asked <laughs> that I'm uh, that I'm asked. So it's going to be it's going to be literally literally amazing. I, I'm I'm telling you the times that we've done this. Uh, not only is it, I mean, we had eight people that really made life changing decisions uh, uh, in, in Western Lo- I mean, got saved at the at the concert, but but just feeling the the presence of the Lord and the unity of the of the people, it's just a really, really, really positive event. And in this day and time we're living in, we need all the positive we can uh, we can have. And so it's going to be it's going to be great. You're going to be giving away some tickets. I, yep, I brought about eight forty giving away some tickets this morning. Yep, yep, and it's going to be. Uh, it's just going to be a good time. I hope if you ain't got your ticket that you that you get it. Like I said, we've got so many people going online uh, to buy them, and and you can go on Facebook and look at all the the different ads we got. Uh, I, I, I I'm looking forward to what's going to happen. I really okay. am. So, Moxley's Ministries dot com. You can go there. Moxley's Ministries dot com to get tickets in advance. There you go. There and, you go. And uh, you said Jason Crabb's got a website too. Yeah, you can know. go to Jason Crabb's website and buy tickets also. For the tickets are only twenty five dollars. That's the the main thing is just cover the venue is is gotten more more expensive. Not only the the, the bringing Jason and that whole band in, but but the rental of the facility now and the, and that, all the stuff that goes with it. And so we had to charge charge twenty five dollars a ticket. We keep it at a very minimum. Widows, uh, widows, we don't charge widows nothing in our ministry. They come they come free to anything we got. And so <laughs> so uh but but if you uh if you want to come, I want you to come. I it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. It'll be worth bringing your whole family to. Uh like I said, kids twelve and under are free. Uh teenagers are what, thirteen to eighteen or ten bucks and uh and then uh so it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. And it's a good venue there. The Wayne County Gospel Auditorium is uh, just, you know, the um, the acoustics are good. Oh, it's, the, every it's, seat's a good seat it's to see something. It's one of the something. best. Yep. We've, we've rented facilities. I don't know how many states we've rented facilities, and I'm telling you, this is top. This yeah, is Wayne the, County Auto- High School Auditorium is a great, great facility. Yeah, it's for a top this. shelf. It's top shelf for sure, for uh-huh. sure. And uh, and it's and, and it's it's just comfortable. It's easy. The parking's good. The uh, everything's plenty of parking. Good. Easy to get in out of. Yep. Everything's good. But, and again, we've got handicap accessibilities everywhere naturally. And it's just it's just a good. I, I feel I feel as good about this event as any we've done. It's going to be really really good. So. Okay, Bob. Questions, comments, or anything for George, Debbie? Just good to see you. No, ah, y'all too. Always good to see you guys. It's always good to listen to y'all. All so. right. Well. I hope you have a very good evening on Friday night, and I'm sure that it's going to be packed, and Jason's uh, going to touch a lot of folks. Yep, and we want everyone to come. It's going to, even if you just want to be entertained, his music, he's based out of Nashville. He is, go to, go to his website and listen. His new new uh, his new song, Good Morning Mercy, is amazing. It's just tilt, topping all charts, and so it's just really, really good. Yeah, you'll, right. you'll, you'll love it. Make every effort to come. All right. Y'all take care. All right. All right. 105.5 FM and Jessup, Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO. More of the world-famous Butch and Bob show in a moment. When life gets wild, get wilder. Soar higher. Roar louder. Get your feet wet. Because wild times call for wild adventures. Explore 170 acres of rides and slides. And discover over 100 exotic animals. Experience a tasty adventure during Wild Food Weekends this month only at Wild Adventures. Visit wildadventures.com for tickets. South Georgia weather. Here's your WIFO forecast. Mostly sunny today, a 40% chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms, highs mid-90s. Heat index up to 108. Mostly cloudy, showers and thunderstorms likely this evening, later partly cloudy, low in the low 70s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms early, then a 50% chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms, highs low 90s. Georgia Chief Meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. 105.5 FM in Jessa, Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO. Well, Bob, you had the uh, work session yesterday with the uh, school board that you went to. Uh, what, what did you kind of take from that? <laughs> they're shaking. <laughs> when I said that millage rate stuff's all in my head. So well, the millage rate is the fact that the value of the property's gone up. Okay, mm-hmm. millage rate goes down, but you know because the value of the property goes up, the millage rate goes down. You still end up paying about the same. So they, you know, that's just uh, 
just the, just the, the way it is. You know, you, if your house was uh, at two hundred thousand and now it's at two twenty five, you valued more. Yeah, but millage rate can go down, but because the value is a little bit more than, uh, so that's kind of what I took from what he was saying. I guess that's what he was saying. The uh, well, the, the financial big, guy. The for, big story is, like I said, we made that vote years ago where the 65 years of age older don't pay school taxes, and that's about a million dollars to hit each year to the school system. The right, county gets right. that it hurts so, Wayne County because uh, of that. Uh, but you'll never change it. That's right. They never change it. They'll never change it. You have to live with it. That was just a dumb move on our part years ago. But that ago. was the Wayne County voters back then. Well, that was not a good thing. So, now, so people 65 and above, like me. <laughs> Legislators ain't going to touch it with a 10-foot pole <laughs> no, and change no, no, it. No. So it Legislators is it not going to touch it. Local folks <laughs> not going to push for it. 65 and above, you don't pay um, a school tax here in Wayne County. So yeah, it does hurt about a million, and so yeah, it means Jay, the other population has to pick up the, the yeah, difference there. Well, Jay Brinson used to talk about it all the time. He said that was just not a good move for the school system Well, back in the day. So. I don't know who put it up for vote, vote at that time, but that was a long time ago. I remember when it happened. Yeah, I remember someone exactly. put it up, and, it, and folks in Wayne County said, "Yeah, we'll go for that." I know exactly who put it up. Henson mostly put it up and it voted. Well, it was put up for vote, and the voter, you know, he didn't put it up, but he did. You know, it was the voters was who the voted ballot. for it. Had to be on the ballot. Somebody had to put it on the ballot. Yeah, yeah, it had to be put on the ballot by a legislature, and it was requested, and it was put on there, and the voters said, "Yeah." But realize when you take the the uh, the uh, expense away from one group, if you put it on another, so the people sixty five and above, like me, you know, uh, don't have to pay that. But um, uh, so that meant that the difference had to be made up with the folks that are sixty four and below, like you. But of course, you don't own property, so you don't pay. <laughs> well, you do kind of through your rent. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know, when you pay rent, your owner of your building, property, your apartment, they have to pay the taxes. So. Touchdown Club sent me this uh, information again. We got two big events Friday night. We just had George Box talk about Jason Krabs going to be there Friday night. Going to be a big crowd. So also they got the kickoff banquet for the Touchdown Club. So they want those people to park at the teacher parking lot or the band practice field and enter through the door under the awning. And they'll have signs posted at the entrance. So again, that's Friday night as well. At six o'clock at the Commons area, so they want people to park the back side of the school over there for the parking uh, lot the yeah. practice field. Yeah, and the back the side of the back school. Door, right. yeah. so, so if you're headed to the kickoff banquet, that's where they want you to park. Okay, it's going to be a big crowd Friday night for that other event, which is the kickoff event for the uh, football program. Coaches will be there. Players will be there. Preview the upcoming season, have a good meal, break bread, that kind of good stuff. But a good time will be had by all, Bob. I'm looking forward to it. So they're still trying <clears throat> to decide whether – you know, I know that the, the, the – I know that the um, uh, they would like to be able to, to build the uh, agricultural center on the side where the school is to the right of the track. But – it all comes down, will the government allow you to do that because of the wetlands? And uh, will you be able to, you know, will they be able to work around that and see if that'll happen? So I guess they have not gotten a final decision on that yet, on whether they can or cannot build right of the track? They said last night the decision's not been made. Okay. They're still so, meeting, still discussing it with the architect and things like that. So okay. that decision's not final. They don't know where it's going to be built. <coughs> I know where they would like to build it. It's just a matter of can you. Now, they've been several projects here in Wayne County over the last 30 years have been stopped because of you cannot uh, fill in wetlands and build something there. I know the Recreation Department had that years and years ago as they were trying to move down Sunset past that um, what they call the all-purpose field now. Uh, couldn't build any, couldn't, uh, c couldn't uh, put any more fields down that way. And there's been other, other situations around town. So wetlands are protected, and sometimes you can... Um, you can get the permission and get the uh, permit, and sometimes you can't. So I'm sure they would rather build it there because they'd rather have the students on the same side of um, of Joy Williamson, but then it all comes down to what the feds will allow you to do. So we'll see what happens. It's interesting to watch the uh, the football team out there uh, practicing inside the track area, you know, you know, like, you know, you have a track just like you do over JC stadium and, and you got the, the football field inside of it. It's that size, you know, so uh -huh. it's interesting watching them practice inside the track area there where they have, uh, um, that, um, you know, that hundred yards to be able to use in that area. 
base, it's 100 yards. It's but, a little over 100 yards, yeah. You know, yeah. It's not 100 yards. Yeah, so because if it's the, that track is the same size as the track at J.C. Stadium and you have the football <laughs> field and then you have about – you know, you have what about uh, fifteen yards on each on each end of it there, so uh, works out good. That was still a bad design. I don't know who, who designed that other practice field. It's not even hundred yards. They gave out sense. of land. <laughs> just, <laughs> you know, just he, just, he just gave out of land. <laughs> At least inside the track, they got a hundred yards there. Actually, over a hundred yards and over fifty feet wide, fifty yards wide to be able to. I mean, it's like a regular football field in there, you know. I'm Charlie Brown. Yeah, so you know, you just gave out of land. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do because you can't do any different, and that's what they did. They just they built it as big as they could until they just gave out of land. Someone should have clued them in that the football field's 100 yards. <laughs> well, I think they knew that, Bob. It's amazing Sad. how we all think we can make better Sad. decisions than some of these elected boards can. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. <laughs> but, yeah, we'd like to build 100 yards, but we only own 75, so it's as far as we can go. Not good. Yeah. And then you got the uh, practice field to the right of the track there, which is, you know, 100 yards, so. And that's uh, that's a that's a full football field there to, to the right of the track. So you got two there that you can use to for the full hundred yards. Now back behind the uh, uh, the uh, building back there, no, because they just didn't have enough land. So you do what you can do. So they um, didn't make a decision on any of that stuff. They just discussed the uh, the uh, the building of the. Um, uh, the agriculture center and then the uh, uh, I know that we've had the, the superintendent here we've had the principal here on what they would like their design to be for the new junior ROTC building um, they'd rather have it enclosed instead of a breezeway because it makes it safer that way and uh, so I'm sure they'll work on that and getting that ROTC building um, done there at the high school the first thing you gotta do is sell the bonds because <clears throat> the sports money won't come in right in time. So. You gotta get the bonds and then so pay them off through the sports money. Discuss yeah. those. So. Yeah. You gotta sell up to twenty million dollars worth of bonds for those two facilities. So well, like I said the superintendent was here said he wants to build them at the same time, so but they still don't know where they're gonna build them yet, so decisions still need to be made. Yep. Still gotta gotta get all those permits, Bob. Things you want to do, and sometimes you can't do them because of permits. Government sometimes doesn't allow you to do certain things. But there at the school, it's just a matter of, you know, where you can fit it in. I mean, they said, I think, at the end of 400 Hall or somewhere like that, they'd like to be able to connect it on there on the ROTC building. So they probably have more of an idea on that than they do the agricultural building until they decide whether they can get the permit to build it on the next to the track. And then James E. Bacon will be built eventually by the year 2025. No, yeah, eventually. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Still don't have a completion date. Now they say the end of August. So they say they're getting close. They said they can see the light at the end of the tunnel. The so. light at the end of the tunnel of James E. Bacon. All right. That's good. That's what they said last night. Yeah, which one will be completed first, that or the the new hotel? <laughs> <laughs> it's been way over a year over past due. It's just amazing how these construction projects, I know one another project that someone's building a house, it's over, you know, about eight months overdue, past due. But then those homes going up on Spring Grove Road are popping up like mushrooms. Every time you ride by, there's a new one there. They must be doing a simple design with simple construction because those, those, uh, those new homes there on Spring Grove Road are just popping up like mushrooms. It's amazing. You know, not that long ago, there was nothing there but woods. Now there's going to be probably 15, 20 home, new homes, uh, around 1,100 square feet each. But, um, uh, but they're, they're going up quickly. So talking to someone the other day, said so they must be using the same crew, same materials, <laughs> and same everything to be able to have it going along uh, that quickly. So anything else come from the um, work session from the school board that uh, kind of stuck out? Any, any Other than those two things? Well, they talked about the intruder drills. They voted to not let students opt out of that. They said those are very important. Students need to be in, knowing what's going on in case, God forbid, something that, like that happens. So they voted last night as the board members that students are not able to opt out of that intruder drill at the school. 
Well, students were able to opt out of them before. You wouldn't think that would be mandatory. Yeah. And because yeah. you want the students to know what to do in case you do have an intruder. Yeah, you would think that yeah. they had to apparently vote yeah. as a board to make that official action. Oh, okay, make it official. Well, back in my days, Bob, back, you know, when you know, just past the horse and buggy days, back when I went to Wayne County High School, we did have paved roads that went to the school. It wasn't all dirt back then. Yeah, if we'd have had an intruder, we'd have some, some of the good old boys are going out with their pickups and got their shotguns. <laughs> <laughs> These days you don't do that, man. You cannot carry a firearm on a vehicle on the school property, which is a good thing these days. Yeah, it was a good thing these days. Things are so different. I mean, I remember in Jacksonville walking to elementary school probably a mile away. Would anybody do that today? No. It just, it, things change, don't they? Just not as safe out there as it used to be. I mean, not for the better. <laughs> no, not not for the better. I used to walk. We used to ride our bikes to school over a mile away or further, all the way through elementary. Yeah. And like I said, currently they got uh, resource officers at the high school and two middle schools. They're talking about having a resource officer at every school, but they haven't funded that yet. So that's still in the discussion phase, but that's their hope and desire to eventually have a resource officer at every elementary school as well. Yeah. So they're addressing that. Okay. So hopefully they'll get, get that. That'll be a good thing. That'll be a good thing. I know right now they got in the high schools and the middle schools, and they're trying to get it to all the elementary schools too and have resource officers there because in this day of times, and of course these, you know, day and times, you got to have one in, entrance into the school and one entrance out. you got to, you know, if somebody comes in there, they have to go into an enclosed area in a sense, you know. Uh, to be able to have the doors open to go up into the full facility. And that's just not the way it was. I remember the old Wayne County High School. Well, you know, it was all open, all breezeways, all open, you know, tons of doors to go in and out of. And we never had any problems. But uh, in the past 20 years, that really has changed big time. Uh, just uh, the way things are these days. I'll blame it on social media, Bob. Yeah. No comment. No comment. <laughs> There's a lot of reasons. But um, all right. Anything else on your mind this morning, Bob? Trying to pull information from you here. Got the mayor in tomorrow. That's right. Ralph around. Hickox will be in the studio yeah. with us tomorrow. Talk about yeah. is he or is he not going to run for re-election for Jessup? We'll find out. Going to ask him about a lot of other stuff as well. So. And ask him about other stuff. All right, so it's going to be a full 30 minutes yeah. with Mayor Ralph Hickox tomorrow morning in the World Famous Butch and Bob Show. i got a bunch of questions. Oh, don't, good. Don't, don't good. Know. I'm sure he's got a bunch of answers. I don't know if he'll answer them, but <laughs> i got a lot of questions. All right. Well, Bob, you have a good day. Okay. All right, the World Famous Butch and Bob Show here on WIFO, brought to you by First Southern Bank, also brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply, Vans Barbecue, and O'Quinn Associates.